Okay, here we are back again with more Dragon Age Inquisition. <clears throat> and yeah, I think we're just gonna sort of head in this in the general direction of this. <laughs> um, I suppose I can go ahead and do the. Uh, that's part of the main quest over here. What a surprise! There's more bandits. I am amazed. What is this? Elegantly written note. Gentlemen, leave the wardens to their work. Concentrate efforts on the dragon. Service. What do they want with this dragon? I don't understand. I think this is a quill back. I should I think I need to and I think I need to kill a quill back. Yeah. I'm sure it's probably got cold resistance, yeah. The shocking number of these creatures out in this desert have fire vulnerability, like you wouldn't think. And yet here we are. I think what I'm gonna do is switch out my- I'm gonna switch my- my staff back because... <laughs> this does a little more damage at least. Next best thing to sending the high dragon flowers, I suppose. I suppose. There's a landmark right here. And shard, I think. Indeed.
Zora's Tower. Warden Zora's, commander of the defense of Adamant Fortress during the long night of the Second Blight, gave his life in battle against a Herlock Alpha from the Grey Warden Archives at Weishaupt. Yeah, there's a lot of warden-y stuff out here. Like, you would think, given how hot and deserty this place is, more of the stuff out here would be, like, super vulnerable to cold damage. But, uh, most of it is actually not. A lot of it is actually vulnerable to fire. Hey, I hear Venatory. Oh, look at you guys. The I think it's time we set up camp. Much for you. I don't have time. Yes. Yeah, there's something up. I believe it's at the top of this thing. Let's see. Can I get up this way? Sink all the giant staircase for no reason. Uh, I gotta try to remember how to do it. Again, most of the stuff isn't actually difficult. It's just a matter of finding the. You just once you find the right way, then it's like oh. A lot of times you end up, or at least I, end up making things more difficult than they need to be. Like, I feel like this is probably more difficult than it needs to I'm probably making this more difficult than it needs to be. But I just don't know which way to go to get up there. Isn't this the way to do it? I could have sworn. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Okay, that was not it. Okay, um... <sighs> I know there's way up there. <laughs> <laughs> You're 
so over dramatic. Jeez. All right, all right. Here. Let's, uh. We have to turn back. Yeah, I know. Someone at Skyhold will have a solution. Basically, what we've got there is, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, we can't go any farther. It, basically, what we've got there is a sulfur spring. The air is basically poisonous. At the very least, I should be able to make my entire team weapons out of Paragon's Luster before too long. Oh, I think this is actually- this might actually be the, uh... Oh my gosh, really? Come on. This might actually be the cave where we'll get- yeah, when I get all the ocular- uh, astrariums. <laughs> Okay, I know there's a way to get up there. This is ridiculous. Now what? Now I'm in combat. Why? Why am I in combat? Ah, oh, stupid game. Seriously? No. Finally. Jeez Louise. That took freaking long enough. And of course what we find is a picnic full of cheese wheels. Because naturally. Why wouldn't we? West Hill Brandy. Notes of black currant with a honeysuckle finish. Also, tastes like brandy. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And sausage. Somebody left their sausage sitting around. I don't know what that's all about. You may. I love this view though, like, I don't even know what all of that is. Metal of some kind, or oil, or tar, or something terrible, but it's a very cool looking view, like, um, yeah, well that, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but sure. 
The Abyssal Ledge, yes, that's that's exactly what I was looking for. Let's claim it. Hidden stairway. The stairway is extremely old and weathered. Its boards bear subtle gouges where clawed feet have tread. There are no indications of who built it or for what purpose. So that's creepy. And yeah, like it just goes down to here. And then this is basically the edge of the map. Like, I could drop down there, but um, why? Why would I? Um, there is some loot down here, though, and a mosaic piece. So, that was worth it, right? Worth losing half my health. As a matter of fact, I think I'm just gonna pop back to the camp now, because... What? I lost half my health bar. Okay. So yeah, uh, we have a war table operation that will hopefully find a us a way to um, get into that sulfurous area where the air is poison. Here's some more venatori. Hi. Nice to meet you. And here's a landmark. Tessoro Tower. Warden Commander Tessoro, slayer of over a hundred Genlocks, gave her life in defense of the Abyssal Rift at the start of the Long Night of the Second Blight. From the Grey Warden Archives at Weisopt. More of these. Dragon signs. And here's a rift. Alright. Let's dispel some shit. I hear more Venatori. Which means we should probably take care of this. Hello. Ouch. 
another blight has I would hope so. I would hope so. So there's Griffin Wing Keep. I'm gonna actually go back to camp though first. <laughs> because I want to be full up on potions before I try to take the thing. But, uh, and I, I, you know, I cleared, cleared it out most, uh, mostly. Uh, cleared the path anyway. Um... I have to say, Griffin Wing Keep is pop one of the most impressive... Like, it's just, it's very impressive. I, I really like it. I like the look of it. I love the look of it. Now, Here we go. Ah, you, yes. Alright. Hello, sir. Shall we knock? It will be my pleasure. <laughs> I hope I hope it would be Blackwall. <laughs> All right. Let's grab our sad splinters. And uh, let's see what we can find here. Oh, there they go. I, I feel like they're going to sound the alarm. Um, fortunately, that won't save them. Uh, unfortunately for them, I guess. But fortunately for me. Hello. Nice to meet you. We've got a lot more Venatori over here. We're gonna have some fun with this. That's okay. We need to take care of this guy. Draw them out. Ah, 
How long can they keep this up? Probably not very. But also I'm down to t like two uh two health potions, which is hilarious. Um, actually, let's... Here, Inquisitor! I am ready to serve! There we go. Master, I join your glory. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. Slap a coat of paint on it, you'd have a halfway decent hobble. I gotta agree with that. It's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, let's place the flag. This is ours now. It's all mine. Look at that. That's a pretty cool looking keep. Like, I'm impressed. I would be freaked out if I came around and saw that and I was a bad guy. Inquisitor, you're early. We've barely been set up a week. I have a patrol out at the moment. Some of the men sighted Darkspawn in the area. Okay. The Venatori have retreated, but scouts haven't pinpointed where they've gone yet. We're reasonably well entrenched here, but the Keep's water supply has been problematic. It's causing delays. I'll prepare the troops for inspection at once. All right, uh, tell me about yourself. Yeah, this is Night Captain Rylan. We've actually seen his name a few times in reports uh, to Cullen, because he's, he's basically Cullen's second in command. Uh, so tell me about yourself. We haven't met, have we? What's your name, soldier? Where have you served? I beg your pardon, Inquisitor. Night Captain Rylan at your service. I served with the Templars in Starkhaven until they all ran off to the hills, barking at the moon. <laughs> Commander yeah. Cullen offered me a job, and I was glad to do anything to help stop all this madness. Right, uh, so how do you know Cullen? If you were in Starkhaven, how do you know Cullen? After Kirkwall exploded, Starkhaven sent aid. Rubble fell on much of the city. A lot of people were homeless or trapped in collapsed buildings. I coordinated rescue efforts. And met Cullen while he was trying to command what was left of Kirkwall's Templars. So, you've known him for a little while. Uh, but you didn't leave the Chantry, you still call yourself Night Captain, so presumably you still consider yourself a Templar, unlike Cullen, who just uh, calls himself Commander, because that's what he is, his commander. You didn't want to leave the Chantry with the others of your order. Sacred duties are all well and good. Someone needs to do real work now and then. That's fair. If the barracks are on fire, I'm going for water, not standing around smiting the ash for heresy. Ah, respectfully speaking, of course, Inquisitor. Uh, hey, that's fine. I don't think Naughty is particularly, like, you know, I've, I've, I've said in the past that I think Naughty 
believes in the maker and she would probably consider herself Andrastian, but I don't know that she's necessarily like, you know, especially zealous about it. Um, so do you like your current job? Are you How okay? How is the Inquisition treating you so far, Captain? It's good work. Some of it's a touch batty. But I'm always glad <laughs> yeah. to be doing something useful, Inquisitor. There's no shortage of things that need repaired, shored up, or just a good bucket of water dumped on them. That's fair. So tell me about the Darkspawn that's been sighted. What can you tell me about the Darkspawn in the area? The Darkspawn seem to have emerged since we took the keep. I've warned the troops not to engage unless absolutely necessary. We don't need a blight in the ranks. Yeah, agreed. We have to find whatever hole the monsters came from and seal it. Okay. So there's a problem with the water supply as well. What's wrong with the water supply? The fort's well is full of garbage. Ooh. Blasted venatory through corpses in there. Ooh, yeah. There's an oasis nearby, but a Vargas claimed it. Doing a decent job of keeping us away, too. Four soldiers have already fallen to venom and claws. We'll need reinforcements to drive the monster out. Okay. And can you give me a status report? Report, Captain. What's the situation <laughs> in the western approach? I've had scouts investigate that Red Lyrium operation you smashed. I don't think anyone's getting into that cave anytime soon. Well, that's good. Carry on, Captain. Yes, Inquisitor. I do appreciate Night Captain Rylan. I I feel like he and Cullen probably make a pretty good team because they're they're very similar in their outlook uh, and they're um, very practical. They're very practical men, both of them. Griffin Wing Keep. Prelate, I do not care about the bad condition of the keep. If it were in defensible condition, it would not have been abandoned for the last age. Conduct repairs. Get the fortifications rebuilt. We will certainly need them, and we may not have much time. Service. Yeah, you. they didn't have much time, because I came for them. And now we're in this position, so it's all good. <clears throat> so here is uh, an Astrarium that I might as well grab while I'm here. Righto. Um. There we go. Alright. Toth. The only constellation to maintain its ancient name in the present day, the constellation Toth, directly corresponds to the ancient Deventer old god known as Toth, the Dragon of Fire. The depiction of this constellation varies, usually represented either as a man of flame, in agony presumably a victim of the old god, or as a flaming orb. Scholars in the Divine Age attempted to officially change the nomenclature to Ignifier, this is why some old texts record it as such, but the attempt never caught on, even after the eradication of old god worship in the Imperium. Personally, I think all of these, uh, all of these things are pretty interesting. Prelate, Griffin Wing Keep is a critical part of the Master's plan. You are instructed to hold it against the Inquisition assault to the last man. Service. Alright, well, they did, uh, and it didn't actually help anything. They still lost the keep, so. Inquisitor. It's fine. I don't need anything from you, Rylan. But, uh. Let's look around. Yeah, uh, where? I don't know, but... Oh man, I'm missing the... I'm missing the uh, Monty Python reference.
I don't think there's anything up here except a nice view. <laughs> Wasn't Kara at Ostagar? Bad luck running into Darkspawn twice. I would say it is probably pretty bad luck to run into Darkspawn twice in one lifetime, yeah. Don't handle the merchandise! You had apples yesterday. Um, but anyway, as they say, of course, uh, what are the chief weapons of the Inquisition? Uh, fear and surprise, right? Fear and surprise and yada yada. Service. The raiders are pathetically inadequate tools. They litter half the wastes with traps for the Abyssal High Dragon, hoping she will stumble into one. We'd be better off hiring jesters to bait the creature. At least we'd get our money's worth, Artorius. So apparently the, the white claw raiders this makes any damn sense. I agree. I don't know what the hell they want what the what the hell they think they want with the dragon. Um Captain wanted this done an hour ago. Yeah, there's definitely some dark spawn. Where did they come from? I'm not sure I want to know. I mean, I don't want to know, but we should probably find out anyway, so that the, we can make it stop. So they don't just stop, you know, so they don't just, you know, show up indefinitely. Ah, yes, yeah, more of these. I didn't refill my potions didn't get refilled. Well, that's silly.
the time I'm done with you recruits, every one of you pathetic nug babies will be ready to face a high dragon. You can't charge a silver for this. The Inquisitor's coming this way. All right, let's, I suppose, actually go into this cave. Oh, it's gotta... All right, fine. Now I'm going to switch my staff back because my other one's actually a little bit better in terms of straight up damage, so. Let's light it up. The old well, this ancient cistern, stinks like rotting meat. Yeah, I bet. Mosaic piece. And that's it for the old cistern. Okay. Yep. There are indeed a bunch of corpses in here. Ah, yes. Good. Of course. Um, all right. You can't charge a silver for this. There's n Well... Eh, 
I think we probably can we can probably call it good for today. I've got a lot done in the Western approach. Uh, I feel like I'm making good progress. Next time, maybe I'll actually go and do the main plot mission, the next part of the main plot mission, uh, which is here li the here lies the abyss mission. Uh, yeah. Um, I also have everything I need for the way of the night enchanter. So I can probably get that done. Um, but we'll leave it here for now. As always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as, uh, as always, uh, we'll see you next time. Later.